So because you have to double up, you have to pull up both sides of the band at once to maintain adequate tension, it may be hard for some people to pull it directly up to the band peg. So we added, we added this hole that allows you to get uh, closer to the ground and then it's easier to pull up uh, both sides of the band. So I just pull it up and then I'm on there. If that's still really hard for you, um, you can go down to the next transformer pin, the second hole, and that's going to almost be down to the ground, so it'll be easy for you to put the band on. So I, if you're going to use this, if you're going to use this hole to make the bands easier to put on, I just want to show you what you have to do. So I'm going to pull up both sides of, of the red band at once. So I have both sides of the red band on there. I have both sides of the red band on there. Now I have to choose a loop. I know because I use Squamax so much, I know that if I use loop four, it's gonna allow me to easily hook onto this middle hookup point, pull it up, lock it, and then I can, as I take this pin out, I can start loading the weight. Obviously I'm not gonna take the bands off and on. I'm going to leave, leave the bands on there for that workout if I'm doing that, determining what, what bands I'm using. Here's the other thing. You, if you're bottoming out and losing complete tension uh, on, on the, uh, the band, you need, to, you need to just move up one or two belt loops. So I'm going to move up, to, I, I can use three or two for me, uh, and that's going to allow me to stay a couple inches from the, the ground so I can maintain tension. So that, that's an important point you can control the amount of tension on there by uh, using the correct belt loop. Thank you. And if you're gonna use, uh, try to use the bands for deadlifts, you're really gonna have to push this, you know, get a, get a cheap pin, buy a cheap pin at Home Depot clothesline pin, and just put it almost directly, directly under the, uh, the loading pin. Because obviously you're, you're completely bottom out, so you lost some slack. There it is right here. So that's what you'll definitely need uh, if you're trying to add band tension to deadlifts. We don't use the band too much with our high school kids for deadlifts because it's it's such an extreme amount of band tension you get uh, with these mini bands. So when you're using the hip thrust pin, you're not gonna be able to double up the band. So you're just gonna have to just pull one side up. And obviously with the hip thrust, you're doing most of that work at the top, so that, that, that's plenty of band tension, but th that's how you're gonna have to put the band on for the, with these mini bands for the, um, the hip thrust pin, thanks. So just wanna show you how you can double up these mini bands. This, uh, doubling up these uh, red mini bands from Lead FTS will be about 480 pounds of total band tension at the top. So I'm just gonna slide this around the thing. Remember, you gotta pull them both up at the same time. That's why I have it sitting down lower on that hole. And again, that, that band won't slide off if you, if you adjust the belt loop so that you're not totally bottoming out on your squats. If you wanna make sure the bands uh, can't slide off if, if you are bottoming out, you can use these cheap uh, clo closed pins, these clothesline pins. Uh, I can't put it up uh, perpendicular. I just turn it a little bit because otherwise I can't get the plate on. But if you put that at the edge, we sometimes just use these in our gym. But if you put it on the edge of the uh, band peg, it will it will prevent it will prevent the band when it loses slack from slipping off. Uh, again, if if you set the belt loop in the correct spot, the band's not going to lose tension anyway. You might just go up a loop. If, if you're uh, not maintaining band tension.